Auto Codes, it is your 2020 reading coming up for next year, which is 2020. So, yeah. Aquarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please check your damn chats, y'all. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it because this is predictive. We don't know if this is happening or not. So, just y'all sit tight and we'll figure it out together like it's Blues Clues or some shit. God damn, I miss that show. Anyway, how are you leaving 2019, Aquarius? Failure? Well, shit. That's kind of harsh. Anyway, it feels like there's a little bit of like, something was lost. Like aborted or destroyed or vandalized or something. Something to do with failure, in a sense. Your first quarter of the year luxury this is not four of cups whatever fulfilled you in what way whatever was an opportunity that you had it's just a waste now it's not a luxury as much as it is a chore uh second quarter cruelty it is not it's someone that's releasing negative aspects third quota Virtue, this is not the three of wands right here. Someone who doesn't f can't find reasons to continue something. It doesn't fulfill their soul, if you will. Last quarter of the year. Ace of wands. Brand new beginning. All right, so Aquarius, you're going through like stages of like bargaining, anger, denial, acceptance. And this right here. I don't know. It's just one of the mysterious uh, stages of death, which I don't know. Okay, so let's see. This first quarter Aquarius. There's an opportunity missed and you feel like you couldn't navigate through it in this first quarter of 2020. You can't navigate through it because you're not taking the fucking bait. Or the devil's trying to lay out bait. And you're not taking it, because you already know. Like, it feels like you're stuck in this situation. And there's really no way out of it, which there is. There always is, of course. But still, it's like, goddamn, man. Like, shit. In the second quarter, you're trying to get out of this cruelty. You see exactly what the fuck is going on. And you're like, I don't like this shit. And you're trying to get past all the trauma that's actually been dealt to you a little bit. Uh... Because once again, there's no reason. You can't come up with any reason for this shit to work. You're not creative. You're not imaginative with the ability. Um, it's not working in your brain. It doesn't make any fucking sense, pretty much. It's just like, how does 2 plus 2 equal 3? Who said that shit? You know, like, it just it, it pisses you off when you think about it. And it's just because you know it's just completely illogical. And whoever said it really needs to learn how to do math third quarter where this shit just it, there's no reason to continue on with it it's not virtuous anymore you got the knowledge to know that shit too like you don't even need evidence you just fucking know that it won't work and you're trying to get out of that misery and torment as best that you can hopefully as fast as you can um, you're just very clueless on how to accomplish that completely when it comes to uh, material matters I would believe because there's something material you've learned or known that's going to release you from this, but you're not sure what exactly to do with that yet. And it definitely deals with the pairing, because it's two, two. Two, two. Definitely threes as well, so there might be a third party involved during this year. Then the last quarter is Ace of Wands. This is right in the beginning, right? You're, I, I really feel like you're in this mode of, like, fuck it. It's just taking you a year to get there. Knight of Coins. Anchor in essence. Someone might be helping you. Or you might feel anchored, once again, materially, and trapped and confined with whoever this is you're dealing with. And it feels like it's never ending in order for you to get this new beginning. It's just like, what do I have to do? What do I have to do to get a new start here? How you're entering 2020, Aquarius. You're trying to come out of conflict and turmoil as well. And I, like, Capricorn actually had that for the energy going in. In the 2020. Like, I don't want no problems. Well, I don't want to deck you in the face, says Aquarius. 
so get away from me. <laughs> Let's see, the first quarter. Yeah, there's a lack of communication here, and it's just got you all nettled to the point where, like, you might be your own worst enemy in this case, especially when it comes to communication, or the lack thereof, Aquarius. You might not even be realizing you're doing it. You're just like, I don't want to talk to you because it keeps pissing me off, but it might not be the best that you can do. I know it's hard not punching someone in the face when they say things that get on your nerves or when they lie to you or when it just feels like they want to start a fight and you're just like, well, I guess we're matching energies today. You know, like I understand that, but that's not going to work in your favor during the first quarter. And I feel like that might be an advantage someone might use to, like, finesse you a little bit, right? The second quarter is, like, acting like a martyr for whatever sacrifice you don't want to make or what this person wants to make. Like, hanging on for nothing. And knowing it, too. And it's just kind of like, why am, I, why am I doing this right now? Why? Alright, third quarter... Uh, okay, this, when this Ace of Pentacles is reversed, I like to go to Stephen King's quote that everything in this house was replaced with a copy. And it was the creepiest shit ever, right? And that's what this is. It's like a copy of something. This And this is something that you learn, too. It's like a, re it, it's like a replication of sorts. Not exactly mimicry, but the actual trying, like a clone or something, right? Like someone cloned your shit and it's like, it looks just like your stuff. It feels right, but it's just like, I don't think this is originally what I fucking had. You know, like something is just throwing you off here about this offer. It's like, there's, it, it's a mimicry of something that's going to, like, affect how you do things. And it's like, once you get this knowledge, it's like, oh, I'm using this information about this replicant to release me. But the thing is, you're not exactly sure how. But I think it's going to come in handy. Oh, dear. Um, very, very sour emotions, Aquarius. Mmm. <laughs> I feel like you're going to get bamboozled, especially with this Ace of Pentacles in the third quarter. I think near the end, like not even near the end of the third quarter. Maybe the, the, from the beginning to the middle, the third quarter of the year, there's going to be something you know, but you can't put your finger on it because it hasn't hit you yet. And then, I think by the end of the third quarter, it's going to be like, boom! And you're just like, what the fuck? Like, nothing's changed! And, you know, and it, and it miffs you. It miffs you a lot. Like, you're ready to burn people's houses down. Like, go up and ask people, like, do you like pistachio mint? Um, I've never really had it. It's delicious! And then stab them in the face, because... They did not like it the way you did. Like, you're kind of losing your shit a little bit with this. Because, it's like, it puts in your nerve. You're hanging on to be a martyr in the second quarter. And then it's like, oh, there's something wrong here, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> okay. There's going to be sorrow. Going into the second quarter. And it's like you realize that, like, you were with the devil the entire time. It's just you didn't know because there were secrets and shit, right? So now it's like you're paging it out trying to get out of this shit. And you're going to be really required to use your intuition during this end of the year. So how are you leaving 2020? You're going to make a change whether you want to or not. I mean, you want to. But I feel like it's going to be something really drastic, Aquarius, by the end of this year. Or next year. It's already end of this year. Ha 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 ha. My bad. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's like... um, 
I feel like you're gonna have to take a really drastic measure that not even your crazy ass would have thought up. What does that mean? Um, nip it in the bud, basically, is what they were saying. Nip it in the bud. I don't know what that fucking means, Aquarius, but you'll figure it out. Probably by, like, the last quarter. But you'll figure it out. Anyway, um, that was your 2020 predictive read for the coming year. I hope this helps you out. I love your faces. Bye-bye. Shit.